All right, so before I get into the trick, I want to mention that I've been going through a lot of your guys' videos um, for the contest, and there's a lot of them. So I'll try to get, I'll try to find a winner by the end of the month. So I'm, I'll announce that in a couple more uploads. But for today, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, this really cool card trick involving just a couple slides. And uh, here's what it looks like. So let's say the spectator, they could go through, they could tap a card, let's say this one, anywhere in the deck. And let's say in this case we have the two of clubs. So if I put the two into the middle, you guys can see me pushing that directly in. We'll give it a shuffle. And then at this point, um, the way this trick works is your card is lost in the middle, but it is the job of the spectator to find out where it is. So I'm going to riffle down the side of the deck, and the spectator could say stop wherever they like and hopefully that is going to be their card. So just like this, you could say stop here. I could keep going. I'll show you guys the spot is going to be right there. And as you can see, you've stopped me at your card. So this is the trick, guys. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so the idea behind this entire trick is that uh, the spectator is the one essentially doing the magic. So they have a say, you know, where you stop the cards. You know, it's kind of like up to them. Um, you know how the trick turns out and obviously it's going to turn out the way it should so the whole point uh, or actually the whole entire the way this trick works is you could have the way I did the performance was I did a double lift and I'll leave a link on the screen for that or you could have the spectator actually pick a card from the middle in this case let's say like the six of spades and you could put that into the middle and then control that to the top and I'll leave a link on the screen so you guys can learn how to do that but essentially the card that you want to force needs to be on top so whatever you do a double lift or control it it's going to be on top and then what you do is a slip force and I will leave a link on the screen for that as well um, but essentially the cards on top you're holding it in this sort of slip force grip um, with your index holding the deck and then your thumb on the right side and then your three fingers holding, contacting the first card, you riffle down, and the good part is the spectator can, you want to make sure that when the spectator says stop, you, you want to make sure to ask them if you can keep going, because, you know, if they say stop, if you're riffling down and they say stop here and you happen to pull it out, like, you know, the first time they said stop, it might not be as impressive um, as if, you know, they told you to keep going, and then that way when you actually pull the card out and you force it, it looks like, you know, it looks like there's no way you could have known where they would have said stop. So. Those are just kind of my suggestions for the trick. Any, any way you guys want to do that, you know, feel free to. But that's just kind of the idea of the trick. Hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.